Hello there and welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash and I am your host on this journey through men's style, self-development and personal grooming. Now it's been a couple of years because of global situations since I have been on an international holiday but my patience has finally been rewarded and tomorrow I'm boarding a flight for Copenhagen to spend a four-day long weekend with my family in the capital city of Denmark. It's been more than 25 years since I last visited Denmark and the last time I went there I was on a sailing boat but that's another story entirely. So this time we are flying by budget airline and of course that mandates certain certain things that you have to do to be as best prepared as you can for your trip whilst making your journey as comfortable as possible. So today I'm going to share with you some of the tips that I've picked up through my decades of being an international traveller and uh, perhaps some of these things will be useful to you in your future holidays too. Now my first tip seems quite straightforward but it can make a huge difference to the amount of stuff that you take with you and that is try and plan your trip and take exactly what you need, all right? So what I mean by that is this. If you're going for four days, take four pairs of underpants and four pairs of socks. Do not pack an extra one or an extra two pairs as a contingency in case something happens. Let's be honest, we're all traveling in the modern world. If we run out of underwear or we need an extra pair of socks, you can just go out and buy one. There is no need to burden yourself on your travels with extra pairs of clothing or undergarments that you may not need. And also, have an idea of what you're going to do when you're on this trip. Because if you're traveling to a Swiss capital city, as I am, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be going out for dinner with my family to some nice restaurants. As a consequence, I know I have to pack some smart clothing. If I was going on a far more casual trip, maybe staying in a lodge in the countryside, I would not be packing a jacket and tie. So think about what you're going to do, plan it as roughly as you can, and take what you need, not what you think you might need, which is undoubtedly more than you need. Okay, now my next tip is kind of a follow-on from that last one, because as I've just said, I know that I'm going to be going out for some nice dinners, so I know I'm going to take probably this blazer that I'm wearing now. So how am I going to travel with my blazer? And the reality is, I don't know of any suit or sports jacket or blazer which actually survives being packed in a bag, all right? Regardless of how many different ways of packing you can be shown by experts on YouTube and in other platforms, the reality is if you pack your blazer in a bag, it's gonna be a mess when it comes out and it's gonna need extensive pressing to get it looking decent. So the secret really is to wear what you can when you're going on holiday. So if I know I'm gonna wear this blazer when I'm out there in, in Copenhagen, I'm going to wear this on the plane because if I wear it I know it's not going to get wrinkled and creased. Same goes if I was wearing a suit. Even though I don't need to wear a suit on the traveling experience, it's the best way of getting that suit to my final destination without it being wrinkled up or, or all scrunched up in a bag. So wear what you can. It's a lot easier than trying to sort it out with a travel iron when you get to the other end. And certainly if it's going to be colder weather, wear all of your thick garmentry, your coats, your puffer jackets, instead of trying to pack them. Even if it's too warm to wear them in an airport on the plane, take them off and carry them so much easier than trying to stuff them in a bag. And again, another follow on about packing what you need, pack flexibly. Pick items that you know are going to be very versatile at the other end. Classically, it'll be things like a blazer, all right? I'm gonna wear this blazer on my trip because I'm going to wear it out in the evening. However, if I find myself needing to go somewhere else, quite smart, the blazer is that perfect catch-all garment. It's the little black dress for men, as we always say, because it can be very flexible. Worn with jeans when I'm traveling, it's a smart jacket. Worn with chinos at the other end, it's business casual. Worn with gray flannel slacks, it is as smart as any suit. It's an incredibly versatile garment. 
pack chinos instead of jeans because they fulfill the same function as jeans for casual clothing, but also they are smart enough to wear to nice restaurants in the evenings. So if you pack versatile clothing, it means you have to pack less because that one pair of chinos can do the work of a pair of jeans and a smart pair of trousers in one garment. Less to carry, less to worry about, less to iron and press at the other end. Pack flexibly and you will pack less. Now something else to remember when you're traveling is weight is your enemy. The less stuff you carry, the less stuff you have to manhaul through the, through the airport, between taxis, up and down flights of stairs at your hotel. So pay attention to the detail. Make sure you carry as little as possible. An example is in your, your toiletry bag. Um, I carry as little as I possibly can. Obviously, I've got my usual bits and pieces, but when it comes to the larger items, which make up the majority of weight in your, in your bag, it'll be uh, the wet garments. So it'll be things like shaving cream, moisturizer, toothpaste, all right? These things, you have to buy them in larger tubs. It means weight to carry them around. So for me, I always consciously go looking for small sample sizes of items that I use. That means they're easy to pack. And I'm, again, only taking exactly what I need. The other thing I do, there's another good example there, I take just exactly what I need. And if I can't find a container of the stuff in the size I'm looking for, I create it. So you can buy these little tubs in any cheap uh, pharmacy or drugstore, and you can decant the items that you need. Now in this one, it's moisturizer. In this one, it's shaving cream, all right? I use Rusal Super Slick Shaving Cream. It means I don't have to take a brush and I don't have to carry a large amount of it. Simply, that amount in there is easily going to last me for four days. Moisturizer. That's easily four days worth. And some products, they actually sell small travel size items. So this is ProRazo Pro Shave, perfect for carrying around. And when it's empty, I just top it up from my larger pot of, of, uh, pro, of um, pre-shave. And fragrance, this is aftershave. This is tobacco leaf aftershave from Taylor of Old Bond Street. When I was in the store a couple of weeks ago, I bought this small travel size container of it. It's perfect. It's only a few, let's have a look. It is 10 milliliters. It's enough for what I need for four days. It saves me carrying superfluous items that I don't actually need. And it can go even further, even toothpaste. I've got one of those small containers full of toothpaste here, which is all I'm going to need for the time I'm away. I'm not carrying a full-size tube of toothpaste. I don't need to. Less weight, and of course, it's less chance of something spilling in my bag and causing damage to my other items. The less you carry is more beneficial to you all round. And another thing that I do when traveling, and I've been doing this since I was in the military all those years ago, I compartmentalize the items that I carry. So I buy myself a number of these stuff bags. They're cheap, inexpensive, made of nylon. Inside that bag is all of the underwear. So pairs of socks, pairs of underpants that I'm gonna need for four days. It's stuffed down. It don't, I don't need to worry about creasing any of this stuff. It's stuffed down. It's exactly as small as I can get it. So it takes up as little space as possible in my bag. The other advantage, if something were to happen, if my bag were to get wet or something spilled, this nylon stuff bag is going to protect my underpants and socks from being soiled. It's perfect for making sure everything is one place, in in one place. And the other thing, take some spares. One of these stuff bags will be perfect to use as a laundry bag. So as I wear my shirts and my underwear, it will be ideal to stuff the, the worn items in here so that there's no soiling caused to the clean items because of, you know, odors or uh, transfer of uh, wet or whatever. Perfect way of traveling if you compartmentalize, gets things a lot smaller and protects them as well. Now, however you travel, whether you're flying on a budget airline, as I am tomorrow to uh, another country, or whether you're taking your other half to a boutique hotel for a nice weekend away, the one thing which is common to all traveling trips is going to be your luggage, all right? For me, luggage is so important because I want it to be ergonomic, easy to carry, to get everything in, 
but also I want it to be stylish and set me apart from perhaps some of the other travellers who've thought very little about how they're, uh, they're travelling and the, the kit that they take. Now, my bag of choice is this one here on the table, this glorious bag. This is the Carl Friedrich Palissy Weekend Bag. And it is a very wonderful addition to my travelling luggage, I have to say. Now, I've featured other items from Carl Friedrich on this channel in the past. Um, I've had a wallet from them and a briefcase. And I have to say, I am in love with their Scandinavian clean aesthetics, which runs throughout their entire range. I should tell you, this is not sponsored content, all right? This is me telling you and showcasing an item which I use myself and I can only endorse entirely. It is fair to say that Carl Friedrich have provided um, the items which I've showcased to you for me as samples, so I haven't paid for them and I don't have to send them back, but my reviews are entirely independent. And the reason why I love them, it's not just their looks, it is the build construction. Now, as I say, they have a Scandinavian chicness to them because their sleek design lines mean they're never going to out of fashion. Their simple, clean, aesthetic lines is always pleasing on the eye. And the model I have here, the Weekend uh, Palissy model, um, it's in cognac colour. Now they do a number of other colours, but I've always chosen cognac because I know that this material will age beautifully because it, as all leather does, it patinas as the passing of time uh, goes by. I know this because I have one of their wallets in my pocket. Let me reach into my back pocket and pick it up. I've had this wallet now a couple of years. It's made of the same cognac leather, but it is aging beautifully. The more I touch it, the more character it acquires from the patinering, the interaction with you know the um, the oils and other things within my skin and the leather is wonderfully tactile, supple and beautiful to touch. And so will my weekend policy bag in the fullness of time. And the reason why? The leather. The leather is a is an Italian vachetta leather. It is vegetable tanned. Now a lot of people don't think much about leather but there's two largely commonly used tanning processes, chromium tanning and vegetable tanning. Far less leather is vegetable tanned because it's a longer process, it's more complex, there are far less, if any, harmful chemicals used at all in the vegetable tanning process, but the end result is a better leather by far. And I assure you, the fragrance of this beautiful leather just adds to my attraction to it. As well as its supple touch and feel, it is a bag which looks beautiful and it's an important thing, but it's gotta be functional too. And inside the bag, there is lots and lots of room for all of the items that you need to take away for a four day weekend as I'm going on, or if you're just traveling back and forth work and you want a stylish valise or hold all. I like to use the word valise. It's a bit of an old throwback word to, um, you know, a portmanteau or, uh, or hold all. And it's just lovely to put all of your items in there. Now for me, I've got an extra pair of shoes in here, all of my underwear, my book for the weekend, um, even my traveling backgammon set, which the family and I will be enjoying in the evenings. Everything fits comfortably into this bag. The interior, uh, it is lined with a um, nylon material, which you can choose. You can choose whatever color you wish for a small additional fee. There's a zipped inner compartment and lots of inner compartment slots where you can slip things like, you know, your handkerchiefs or whatever, things that you just want to keep separate and nicely stowed away. So lots and lots of room on the inside. On the outside, there's a nice little area where you can slip your wallet in or your passport or anything else. And you just get to see that little hint of that inner lining carried through onto the outside. Underneath the bag benefits from a number of small metal studs or legs, which means when you set the bag down, it's not gonna be in contact with the floor. It's not soaking up water if the ground uh, is wet. It's just perfect for those traveling situations. It also comes with a sturdy um, shoulder strap uh, made of the same leather very comfortable it's lined with nylon as well um, i've used this bag and other of the carl frederick um, product range with their straps and they're well ergonomically designed you can carry them all day long they cause no issues at all one of the things i rather like about the bag is the fact that the zip 
which is an exceptionally high quality zip. I'm led to understand that every single one of the teeth in this zip uh, has been individually polished to allow them to be so smooth and they just literally glide open right down to the edges allowing you a lot of access to the bag so very practical uh, and easy to gain access to the interior which just makes it easy when you're traveling or when you get to your destination if you just want to live out of the bag for a few days having a bag like this makes that process a lot easier and I just know through my experience with Carl Friedrich and their leather, that it's this sort of quite firm leather, which is ideal for a bag like this, stands up nice and proud on its own. It's gonna acquire that lovely patina and become more and more supple and tactile as the years go by. Because this is an investment piece. These are not inexpensive. I've said this so many times on the channel, quality items should have a quality price. If something like this was inexpensive, I would know that it would not be well put together, it would not be ethical in its manufacture. So the fact that this bag is somewhat expensive, at around about 615 British pounds, I know that the components are superb, and also Carl Friedrich know it too, because they give a 100 day money back guarantee. So effectively, if you buy the bag and you don't get on with it, or it's not what you want, or it's not up to the standard you expect, you can return it and get a full guarantee, uh, return of your funds up to 100 days after purchase. And additionally, for me, buying in confidence, because I know there is a lifetime guarantee with this bag. That means if any of the components malfunction or cease to work, during the bag's lifetime, I can speak to Carl Friedrich and they will get it corrected for me. So it is wonderful to know that this bag, it's an investment piece, but it's gonna serve me potentially for the rest of my life. And I'm gonna look stylish and smart as I make my way through uh, the many airports and boutique hotels that I will journey through for the remainder of my years on this earth. So there we go, folks. I hope you've enjoyed my tips today on how to travel simply and stylishly, particularly using the Carl Friedrich Palissy Weekend Bag, which is coming with me tomorrow, which will be practical, functional, and aesthetically attractive too. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, you can give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more material like this, click the red button, come on the journey as a subscriber. If you'd like to practically support the channel, of course, you can buy me a coffee and the link to do that is in the show notes below. And you can even click that super thanks button right down there next to the thumbs up icon too. So until the next time, when we meet, I will have returned from Copenhagen and I will tell you all about it. But until then, take care of yourselves and I will see you again very soon.